urgent threat growing from North Korea. The country says its missiles, missiles can now reach the U.S. And right now, 24 members of the Kansas Air National Guard on the way to the front line. Only on 41 Action News reporter Lexi Suter shows us how their mission is now intensifying. 55 people and two of these very large aircrafts are in Guam as we speak, playing a pivotal role in the Pacific. Flying high above the ocean for hours every day, members of the 190th Air Refueling Wing hope to send a stern message. Don't mess with America. But it is uh, a show of force to say, hey, we're here, and if you do anything wrong, uh, we're here to stop it. The military has been building up its presence in Guam for years, preparing for present day. Over the weekend, North Korea carried out another missile test. The country claims Guam is now within reach, putting Kansans at the base and everyone else on the island at risk. Combining nuclear warheads with ballistic missile technology in the hands of a volatile leader like Kim Jong-un is a recipe for disaster. That is North Korea as it is. In 2015, 41 Action News deployed to Guam with the Air Guard. Colonel Jared Franz says the day-to-day -day mission remains the same, but undoubtedly with North Korea conducting missile tests, it's now intensified. The pace of operations has definitely picked up. With every one, they get a little bit more successful, they gain a little bit more knowledge, and they improve and build on that. So the pace at which those tests are accelerating, advancing, is what has raised a lot of concern. At Forbes Field in Topeka, Lexi Suter, 41 Action News. Air Guard members will return to Topeka next month, and plans are already in place to deploy to Guam again in 2018.